Imagine waking up one day to discover that you're not who you think you are, that within you lies a vast, untapped reservoir of wisdom and power guiding your life from the shadows. Sounds like the plot of a sci-fi blockbuster, right? Well, hold on to your seats because this isn't fiction. It's the groundbreaking theory of one of psychology's most enigmatic figures, Carl Jung. Today, we're diving deep into Jung's shocking revelations about the higher self, a concept so mind-bending it continues to baffle experts and lay people alike. But who was Carl Jung, and why should we care about his ideas? Picture a brilliant, eccentric Swiss psychiatrist peering into the depths of the human psyche like a cosmic explorer. Jung wasn't just Sigmund Freud's protege. He was a maverick who dared to challenge the foundations of psychology itself. Now, brace yourself for a journey that will shake your understanding of who you are to its very core. Jung's concept of the higher self isn't just another self-help buzzword. It's a radical reimagining of human consciousness that could change everything you thought you knew about yourself and your place in the universe. What if I told you that your everyday self, the one reading this right now, is just the tip of the iceberg? That beneath your conscious mind lies a vast, mysterious entity that Jung called the higher self? This isn't just some feel-good spiritual concept. It's a powerful psychological force that Jung believed shapes our destinies in ways we can scarcely imagine. But here's where it gets truly wild. Jung claimed that this higher self isn't just a part of you. It's connected to something even bigger, something that spans across all of humanity, transcending time and space. Sound impossible? Well, buckle up, because we're just getting started. In the next few minutes, we'll unravel the shocking truths Jung discovered about the higher self. You'll learn how this hidden aspect of your psyche might be orchestrating your life behind the scenes, why it holds the key to your ultimate fulfillment, and how it connects you to a vast network of collective wisdom. So, if you're ready to embark on this mind-bending journey into the depths of your own psyche, stay tuned. And hey, if you're already feeling your worldview start to shift, why not like and subscribe? Trust me, you won't want to miss a single second of what's coming next. Each revelation builds on the last, unlocking new layers of understanding about your true nature. The Concept of the Higher Self Imagine you're standing in front of a mirror. You see your reflection, your familiar self, staring back at you. But what if I told you that this image is just a fraction of who you truly are? This is where Jung's concept of the higher self comes into play, and it's about to turn your world upside down. Jung believed that the higher self is like a hidden conductor, orchestrating the symphony of your life. It's not just a part of you, it's the totality of your being, encompassing both your conscious and unconscious mind. Think of it as the ultimate version of yourself, holding all your potential, wisdom, and purpose. But here's where it gets mind-bending. Jung proposed that this higher self isn't confined to your individual psyche. It's connected to something far greater, something he called the collective unconscious. Imagine a vast, cosmic internet of human experience spanning all of history and your higher self is your personal Wi-Fi connection to this infinite database of wisdom. Now, you might be thinking, if I have this amazing higher self, why don't I know about it? Well, that's because our ego, our everyday conscious self, often drowns out the subtle whispers of the higher self. It's like trying to hear a gentle flute solo in the middle of a rock concert. But don't worry, we'll soon explore how to tune into this profound inner guidance. As we delve deeper into Jung's revelations, you'll discover how this concept of the higher self isn't just some abstract theory. It has the power to revolutionize your understanding of yourself and your place in the universe. Are you ready to peek behind the curtain of your consciousness? The higher self versus the ego. Picture this you're faced with a tough decision. Part of you wants to play it safe, stick to the familiar. But there's another voice, quieter yet somehow more profound, urging you to take a leap into the unknown. This internal tug of war? That's your ego battling with your higher self. 
Jung saw the ego as the captain of a ship, navigating the conscious waters of our daily lives. It's essential, yes, but it's also limited, often driven by fear, social conditioning, and short-term thinking. The higher self, on the other hand, is like the North Star, a constant, guiding presence that sees the bigger picture of our life's journey. But here's the kicker. The ego often thinks it's in charge, like a toddler at the wheel of a car, while the higher self is the actual driver, subtly steering us towards our true path. The ego might scream, I want that promotion now, while the higher self whispers, but is that really aligned with your life's purpose? Understanding this dynamic is crucial because it explains why we often feel conflicted or stuck in life. When we're aligned with our higher self, we experience flow, purpose, and synchronicity. But when we're trapped in ego-driven decisions, we might achieve short-term gains at the cost of long-term fulfillment. So how do we bridge this gap between ego and higher self? Jung believed it starts with awareness and integration. It's not about silencing the ego, but rather about creating a harmonious dialogue between these two aspects of ourselves. As we move forward, keep this interplay in mind. It's the key to unlocking the next shocking revelation about how the higher self connects us to something far greater than ourselves. Are you ready to expand your consciousness beyond the boundaries of your individual mind? Shocking Revelation 1 the higher self as a bridge to the collective unconscious. Prepare to have your mind blown. Remember that cosmic internet of human experience we mentioned earlier? Jung called it the collective unconscious, and he believed our higher self is our personal hotline to this vast reservoir of wisdom. Imagine for a moment that all of human knowledge, experiences, and archetypes, from the dawn of time to this very second, exist in a shared psychic space. Every hero's journey, every human struggle, every flash of genius, it's all there waiting to be accessed. And your higher self? It's your custom-built browser for surfing this infinite web of collective wisdom. This is where things get really wild. Jung proposed that through our higher self, we can tap into knowledge and insights that we've never personally experienced. Ever had a dream that seemed to predict the future? Or a sudden flash of inspiration that solved a problem you'd been struggling with? Jung would say, that's your higher self, dipping into the collective unconscious, bringing back nuggets of universal wisdom. But it doesn't stop there. This connection to the collective unconscious through our higher self could explain phenomena like shared myths across cultures, intuitive understanding of symbols, and even those uncanny moments of deja vu. It's as if we're all nodes in a vast psychic network with our higher selves acting as personal routers. Now you might be wondering, if we're all connected to this collective wisdom, why isn't everyone a genius? Well, that brings us back to our ego. Our conscious mind often acts like a firewall, filtering out much of this cosmic data to help us function in our daily lives. But with practice and awareness, we can learn to lower this firewall and allow more of the collective wisdom to flow through. As we move on to our next revelation, consider this. What if your life's purpose isn't just about your individual journey, but about your unique contribution to this collective human story? How might tapping into your higher self and the collective unconscious change the way you approach your life and your challenges? Shocking Revelation 2, the higher self as the key to individuation. Now, let's dive into what Jung considered the ultimate goal of human development. Individuation. Don't let the fancy term fool you. This concept is about to revolutionize how you think about personal growth. Individuation, in Jung's view, is the process of becoming your true, whole self. It's like being handed a puzzle box at birth with all the pieces of your potential scattered inside. Your life's journey is about piecing this puzzle together, integrating all aspects of yourself, both light and shadow, into a harmonious whole. Here's where it gets shocking. 
Jung believed that your higher self is both the guide and the destination of this journey. It's as if the completed puzzle picture is already there in your higher self, and it's constantly trying to show you how the pieces fit together. But why is this so crucial? Because Jung argued that only by embracing our whole selves, including the parts we'd rather hide or ignore, can we achieve true fulfillment and authenticity. It's about being courageous enough to look at our shadow side, integrate our opposing internal forces, and emerge as our most complete, actualized selves. Think about it. How often do we try to fit into societal molds, ignoring parts of ourselves that don't seem to fit? Jung would say this is like trying to complete a puzzle while deliberately leaving out pieces. You'll never see the full picture. The process of individuation guided by the higher self explains those moments of profound self-discovery, when you suddenly understand a pattern in your life or have an aha moment about your true calling. It's your higher self, that inner wisdom, leading you towards wholeness. As we approach our final revelation, ask yourself, what pieces of your own puzzle might you be ignoring? How might embracing all aspects of yourself, guided by your higher self, change your life's trajectory? Shocking Revelation 3 The Higher Self and Synchronicity Get ready for a mind-bending concept that challenges our very understanding of reality. Jung introduced the idea of synchronicity, meaningful coincidences that defy normal explanations of cause and effect. And guess what? He believed our higher self plays a starring role in this cosmic dance. Picture this. You're thinking about an old friend you haven't seen in years. Suddenly, out of the blue, they call you. Or you keep seeing the same unusual symbol everywhere you go, only to discover it holds a significant meaning for a challenge you're facing. These aren't just random coincidences, according to Jung. They're synchronicities, the language of the higher self. Jung proposed that our higher self, with its connection to the collective unconscious, orchestrates these meaningful coincidences as a way of guiding us, sending us messages, or confirming we're on the right path. It's as if the universe itself is conspiring to speak to us through events that our rational minds can't explain. But here's where it gets really wild. Jung suggested that synchronicities blur the line between our inner psychological state and the outer physical world. In other words, your thoughts, feelings, and the focus of your higher self might actually be influencing the events around you in subtle, almost magical ways. This concept challenges our entire worldview. What if the world isn't just a series of random events, but a responsive, interconnected web of meaning? What if, by aligning with our higher self, we could navigate this web more consciously, co-creating our reality in harmony with the universe? Skeptics might dismiss this as mere coincidence or selective perception. But for those who've experienced profound synchronicities, it's hard to shake the feeling that something greater is at play. It's like catching a glimpse of the hidden machinery of the universe with your higher self as the conduit. As we wrap up these shocking revelations, consider this. How might your life change if you started paying more attention to synchronicities? Could these meaningful coincidences be breadcrumbs left by your higher self, guiding you towards your true path? Practical Applications now that we've had our minds thoroughly blown by Jung's revelations about the higher self, you might be wondering, okay, but how do I actually apply this in my life? Don't worry, we've got you covered. First, let's talk about connecting with your higher self. Jung recommended practices like active imagination, where you engage in a sort of waking dream, allowing images and scenarios to unfold in your mind without judgment. It's like opening a direct chat line with your higher self. Another powerful technique is journaling, especially what Jung called dialoguing with the unconscious. Try writing with your non-dominant hand, or imagine different parts of yourself as characters, and let them converse on the page. You might be surprised at the wisdom that emerges. Dream work was also crucial in Jung's approach. Start keeping a dream journal, looking for recurring symbols or themes. 
your higher self often communicates through the rich symbolism of dreams, offering guidance and insights if you learn to decipher its language. Meditation and mindfulness practices can help quiet the chatter of the ego, making it easier to hear the subtle whispers of your higher self. Try sitting in silence for a few minutes each day, simply observing your thoughts without attachment. In your daily life, pay attention to synchronicities. When meaningful coincidences occur, don't brush them off. Ask yourself what message your higher self might be sending you. For the more artistically inclined, try expressing your inner world through art, music, or dance. These creative endeavors can bypass the logical mind and tap directly into the wisdom of the higher self. Remember, connecting with your higher self is a journey, not a destination. Be patient with yourself and approach these practices with an open, curious mind. You're not trying to silence your ego, but rather to create a harmonious dialogue between all parts of yourself. As you integrate these practices into your life, you might start noticing subtle shifts. Decision-making may become more intuitive, your sense of purpose clearer, and those synchronistic events more frequent. You're not just changing your mind. You're aligning with the deepest, wisest part of yourself. So, are you ready to embark on this transformative journey? What practice resonates most with you? Remember, your higher self has been waiting for this moment, the moment you decide to listen. The Controversial Aspects Now, let's address the elephant in the room. As mind-expanding as Jung's ideas about the higher self are, they're not without their critics. After all, any theory that challenges our fundamental understanding of reality is bound to ruffle some feathers. Skeptics argue that concepts like the collective unconscious and synchronicity are unfalsifiable. That is, they can't be proven or disproven by scientific methods. They claim that what Jung saw as meaningful coincidences could simply be explained by probability and our human tendency to find patterns even where none exist. Some critics view Jung's ideas as veering too close to mysticism or pseudoscience, straying from the realm of empirical psychology into something more akin to spiritual philosophy. They argue that while these concepts might be comforting or personally meaningful, they lack the rigorous evidence required of scientific theories. There's also the question of cultural bias. Some argue that Jung's concept of archetypes and the collective unconscious might be more reflective of his own European cultural background rather than truly universal human experiences. But here's where it gets interesting. Many of Jung's ideas, once considered fringe, are finding new relevance in fields like neuroscience and quantum physics. The concept of non-local consciousness, for instance, bears some striking similarities to Jung's ideas about the collective unconscious. Moreover, many people find Jung's theories deeply resonant on a personal level, reporting transformative experiences through working with these concepts. While personal anecdotes don't constitute scientific evidence, they do raise intriguing questions about the nature of consciousness and human experience. So, where does this leave us? Perhaps the most Jungian approach is to hold these ideas lightly, neither dismissing them outright nor accepting them blindly. Jung himself encouraged a balance between skepticism and openness, urging us to explore our inner worlds while maintaining a grounded perspective. As we conclude our journey through Jung's shocking revelations about the higher self, ask yourself, how do these ideas challenge your worldview? Can you find a balance between critical thinking and openness to new possibilities? We've journeyed deep into the realm of Carl Jung's groundbreaking ideas about the higher self and what a ride it's been. From the shocking revelation that we're all connected to a vast collective unconscious, to the mind-bending concept of synchronicity, Jung's theories challenge us to expand our understanding of who we are and what we're capable of. Let's recap the earth-shattering insights we've explored. One. Your higher self is not just a part of you, but a bridge to a universal reservoir of wisdom and experience. 2. This higher self is guiding you towards individuation, the process of becoming your most authentic, integrated self. 3. 
Through your higher self, you might be co-creating reality itself, orchestrating meaningful coincidences that guide your path. These ideas aren't just abstract theories. They have the potential to radically transform how you live your life. Imagine navigating your journey with the wisdom of the ages at your fingertips, making decisions aligned with your deepest truth and recognizing the subtle guidance of the universe in everyday events. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Jung's ideas invite us to take an active role in our personal growth, to courageously face our shadows, and to contribute our unique gifts to the collective human story. As you go forward from here, I encourage you to stay curious. Pay attention to your dreams, be open to the whispers of your intuition, and don't dismiss those strange coincidences as mere chance. Your higher self might just be trying to tell you something important. Whether you fully embrace Jung's theories or approach them with skepticism, there's no denying their power to spark self-reflection and expand our conception of what's possible. In a world that often feels fragmented and disconnected, Jung's vision of an interconnected human psyche offers a profound sense of meaning and purpose. So, what's your next step on this journey of self-discovery? Will you start a dream journal, practice active imagination, or simply pay more attention to the synchronicities in your life? Whatever you choose, know that you're not just exploring your own psyche. You're tapping into the vast, mysterious reservoir of human consciousness. Thank you for joining me on this mind-bending exploration of Carl Jung's shocking revelations about the higher self. If you found this journey as fascinating as I have, please like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of the human psyche. And remember, the most exciting journey is the one within. Until next time, keep exploring the vast universe inside you.